In today's society, we are all too familiar with seeing influencers, individuals who wield influence on social media. These people can attract attention and a large number of followers in the virtual world, mainly by hiding behind a glamorous lifestyle. Luxurious trips, expensive meals, extravagant gifts from brands, all of these to maintain the image they have built on the internet. However, have you ever wondered, beyond this facade of a rosy life, whether these influencers are truly satisfied with their lives? Are they hiding something? Or perhaps, are the people you see really who they claim to be? Welcome to Movie Recap Area. Let's explore what lies beneath the surface in this thriller film, shall we? The film follows Madison, a social media influencer, as she embarks on a solo vacation in Thailand, despite her enthusiastic status updates on her social media accounts about the trip and new experiences, Madison doesn't seem very happy. This is because she's having trouble in her romantic relationship with her boyfriend Ryan. Also, in reality, all her trips are a part of her job, which is to paint a perfect life picture for everyone to see. One evening, while sitting at a bar, Madison is approached by a middle-aged man, who is trying to flirt with her. Feeling uncomfortable, Madison is lucky to have CW, another tourist, help her escape that awkward conversation. While taking a stroll, Madison confides about the troubles in her life, her boyfriend, and how this trip isn't what she expected. Seeing Madison feeling down, CW suggests they go on an adventure together the next day. The next day, the two girls roam around on a motorcycle, exploring the beautiful land of Thailand. They climb up a mountain peak to catch the sunrise. The surrounding scenery is breathtaking, and Madison, due to her profession, immediately takes out her phone and records a short clip to post on social media. They continue to enjoy each other's company throughout the day. In the evening, after saying goodbye to CW to return to her room, Madison is shocked to find her room has been broken into. Her belongings and personal items are scattered everywhere, and the passport which she kept in the drawer is missing. So, Madison is stuck in Thailand for at least two more weeks before receiving a new passport from the embassy. Feeling overwhelmed by what has happened, Madison calls her boyfriend Ryan. He seems very busy and doesn't pay attention to what she's saying. When Madison informs him that she'll have to stay in Thailand longer than expected due to losing her passport, Ryan is displeased and continuously blames her. Fed up with her boyfriend's irrational behavior, she decides to break up with him. Despite Ryan's disagreement, knowing that she would be stuck here for a while, Madison posted an announcement on her account and set out to explore Thailand with CW. They visited beautiful islands and caves together. By the end of the day, CW took Madison to her place, cooked dinner, and told Madison that she had a special plan for the next day. Early the next morning, CW took Madison on her own small boat and brought her to a deserted island. As they stepped onto the island, Madison noticed a wooden trunk near the shoreline with straight scratch marks on it. It seemed a bit odd to her, but she didn't suspect anything. In the evening, they lit a campfire together. Madison began to share stories from her childhood, about a friend who used to tell scary stories during campfires. CW joined in, envisioning what would happen to Madison if she were left alone on this deserted island. Madison still thought CW was joking and said that if she went missing, surely someone would come looking for her because she's a famous influencer. Madison had no idea that this seemingly playful scenario was actually CW's plan. The next morning, while Madison was still asleep, CW took all their belongings onto the boat and returned to the mainland, leaving Madison alone on the deserted island with no food or water. About three weeks after the incident, Madison's account was still active. However, the person behind the hosts was not Madison but CW, who had stolen her identity to enjoy a luxurious life. CW lived under the guise of Madison, wearing a wig to resemble the victim, wearing her clothes, spending her money, and living in the house under Madison's name. She used cunning tactics to insert her face into photos and videos to make herself look like Madison, and posted them on the influencer's account all to make followers think Madison was safe and peacefully enjoying her trip. After a period of living and enjoying life under Madison's identity, CW began to grow bored with this lifestyle. The late-night parties and expensive meals gradually lost their allure, and no longer brought her joy. In order to regain excitement and happiness, she started looking for her next prey. While browsing Instagram, CW found her next victim, Jessica, who was also a famous travel influencer. Conveniently, she was also in Thailand at the moment. Once she had chosen her target, CW repeated the same tactics she had used with her previous victims. She stalked Jessica online, and in real life, 
she put on a friendly and outgoing demeanor to gain her trust. Once she had befriended Jessica, she began her scheme. When Jessica didn't pay any attention, CW stole her hotel keycard and took her passport, just as she had done with Madison. Upon discovering her room ransacked and her passport missing, Jessica had no choice but to rely on CW. The only person she knew in this country, everything went as CW had planned. The situation repeated once again. CW brought Jessica back to Madison's house, let her stay there, and gradually plotted to take her to the deserted island and leave her there alone. However, there is one thing that has interrupted her plan, she has an unwelcome guest, Ryan. He had traced transactions from Madison's bank account and found his way to the house. He wanted to surprise his girlfriend and fix their relationship. All three of them were surprised to meet each other. At this moment, CW lied, saying that Madison had left but allowed her to stay. Although no further questions were asked, suspicion was clearly brewing within both Ryan and Jessica. The next day, all three of them went on a trip together. CW didn't seem very happy because she had to constantly come up with ways to get rid of Ryan. As for Ryan and Jessica, both felt something strange about CW. During a brief conversation between the two, Ryan revealed that someone had broken into Madison's room and taken her passport before she disappeared. Jessica became more suspicious as a similar incident had happened to her. However, when the two tried to continue their conversation, CW intervened. That evening, they went to a club, CW tried to keep both targets in sight. At that moment, Madison's phone, which is in hand of CW right now, received a notification of a message on Instagram. The message was from Jessica. CW looked around for Jessica but couldn't find her in the club anymore. Jessica had quietly hailed a taxi, returned to the house. CW panicked and followed the influencer home. As Jessica was about to leave, CW stopped her. She questioned Jessica about leaving without saying goodbye. At this point, Jessica spoke out all her suspicions about CW. Her lies, the relationship between CW and Madison, and what happened to Madison that was now happening to her. Jessica insisted on leaving, even giving money to CW because she thought that's what she pursued, and calling her a creep. Hearing this, CW lost her temper and turned violent towards Jessica. She slammed the influencer's head against the wall and stepped high heels against her neck causing her to die on the spot. Afterwards, CW stuffed Jessica's body into the suitcase and cleaned up the bloodstains on the floor. Before she could dispose of the suitcase containing the body, she heard Ryan's voice, who was currently bringing friends back to the house to party. CW insisted on kicking out these uninvited guests from the house. Despite disagreeing with her, Ryan still did as she said. Unable to tolerate Ryan's presence any longer, CW decided to get rid of him. She entered the kitchen, grabbed a knife, and headed to Ryan's room. However, she discovered a picture on his Instagram that has her face in it. Fearing that this could be evidence against her, she was determined to delete the pic. The next morning, CW tried to make peace with Ryan by preparing breakfast for him. She continued to make a post on behalf of Madison, flaunting her new lover in an attempt to convince him to stop searching for the girlfriend. In the evening, CW drugged Ryan, leaving him unconscious, and staged an intimate encounter between them. All of these are an effort to take the opportunity to delete the photo. Afterward, she decided to let Ryan live and leave. Ryan initially believed the story that CW had made up and left the house. However, as he is the one who turned Madison into a famous influencer, Ryan noticed something unusual in Madison's recent posts. He went to the hotel that appeared in the posts to find his girlfriend, but the hotel staff couldn't identify the girl. While sitting sadly at the bar, the old man, who had previously flirted with his girlfriend weeks ago, approached him. Ryan showed him a picture of Madison. And although memories about this young woman were somewhat fuzzy, he remembered the person accompanying her distinctly due to a prominent birthmark on their face. Increasingly aware that something bad happened to his girlfriend, Ryan repeatedly watched the videos posted on Madison's account. And then he realized that these videos had been edited. When he slowed down the playback, a large black birthmark appeared on Madison's face. It was at this moment that Ryan was truly sure that the recent posts, photos, and videos were all made by CW disguising as Madison. Shocked by what he had just discovered, Ryan returned to the house where CW was staying, attacked her, and confronted her. Despite being overpowered by Ryan, CW showed no fear, even confidently challenging Ryan to call the police. It was because earlier she had made up a story, spun a tale that Ryan was a violent boyfriend who regularly abused Madison, leading her to break up with him. Swayed by CW's words, Ryan abandoned the idea of calling the police. CW still insisted that she didn't do anything to Madison but she could lead him to where the influencer was staying. The two walked to the pier, seizing the opportunity when Ryan let his guard down. She pushed him into the water. They struggled underwater, 
and ultimately CW succeeded in drowning Ryan. She hid his body on the small boat and returned to the house. Once again, she used Madison's account to post misleading information about Ryan and the reasons for their breakup. CW continued to go through Ryan's backpack and found an engagement ring box. Turned out that on this trip Ryan not only wanted to heal his relationship with his girlfriend but also planned to propose to her. However, that bright future could never come true because now, Ryan was dead, and Madison was trapped in a place no one knew about, uncertain if she was alive or not. The next day, CW again boarded the boat and sailed to the deserted island to dispose of the victim's bodies. When arrived, she noticed traces of Madison ashes from the campfire. Marks counting the days on the tree trunk, all indicated that the influencer was still alive. Despite being stranded on the deserted island for weeks, Madison managed to survive on her own, waiting for the day someone would come, and she could escape from this place. Surprised by this situation, CW hastily grabbed the shovel she had brought, and ventured deep into the island to find Madison. She searched cautiously, looking for the sign of Madison. After a long walk to the top of a hill, CW found two crosses made of branches, marking the graves of the previous victims. When CW lost her guard, Madison knocked her unconscious, quickly took the boat, and drove back to the mainland. When CW woke up, she ran to where the boat was docked, only to see it carrying Madison farther and farther away. Realizing that karma had finally caught up with her, CW could only stand there helplessly, watching the boat and forcing a bitter smile. So, that's the end for today. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next videos. Peace.